Namaste everyone, welcome to the class. My name's Carolyn. I'm going to take you through a yang flow. So we're just going to warm up the body and get the blood flowing, get the breath flowing, especially working through the hips and the lower back. So we're just going to come to the top of our mat. Just have your hips and your feet in line. As you breathe in, look up through the fingertips. And as you breathe out, we're going to settle into our chair. So try and draw the knees back, bring the arms back. So we're going to flow a little bit with our breath. So as you breathe in, swing the arms up. As you breathe out, swing them back. Breathing in to bring them forward and breathe out. One more time, breathing in and breathing out. And this time as you breathe in, bring them all the way up to the ceiling. Look up through the fingertips. As you breathe out, flow back to a back arch. Breathing in to lengthen, breathe out, swan dive all the way down. Breathing in to come up to our flat back. As you breathe out, relax into forward fold. We're going to step the left foot back, staying up high for our high lunge. So when you're ready, float all the way up, breathing in. As you breathe out, sit a little deeper. We're going to bring our right hand on our hip, breathing in again. As you breathe out, sway to the right side. Breathing in to lengthen. As you breathe out, float down into a low lunge. So you might need to step that back foot back a little bit. If you can, come on to your fingertips. We're going to breathe in, look ahead, open the heart centre. And then as you breathe out, flow back and straighten the leg, look towards the back foot. So we're going to do that a couple more times, breathing in, looking up. Breathe out to flow back. One more time, breathing in. And then breathing out. So as you come forward, we're going to settle into a lunge. So keep the left hand down. As you breathe in, right arm comes up to the ceiling. And we're going to breathe out and thread that arm down and pass the armpit. Breathing in to arc the arm up to the ceiling. As you breathe out, thread it through. Doing that one more time, breathing in. And then breathing out. This time as you bring it up to the ceiling, settle into your lunge. So if you feel that you're struggling a little bit, just bring the back knee down. If you can, open the heart centre up to the ceiling. Let that hand come down. Spread the hands. When you're ready, step into your plank, holding your plank. So make sure your shoulders are over your hands. Reach forward through the crown of the head. Reach back through your heels. Breathing in, as you breathe out, come down either through Chaturanga or just bring the knees down. Gonna breathe in just to roll up to Cobra to start off with. As you breathe out, relax the shoulders down. Breathing in to lengthen the spine. As you breathe out, roll down. Reach all the way back into Down Dog. Breathing in, right leg comes up to the ceiling. As you breathe out, we're gonna bring that knee forward. Going to step the foot forward to come into warrior two. So I'll just turn around so you can see the other side. So once you're in warrior two, we're going to come into humble warrior. So just bring the hands to the back, interlock the fingers. As you breathe in, open the heart centre up to the ceiling. And then as you breathe out, we're going to flow forward into humble warrior. Just come as deep as your body allows, relax your head down, lift the arms nice and high to the ceiling. Just a few more breaths. Relax it down, press all the way up. As you come up, straighten the leg. We're going to come to triangle now. So breathing in to lengthen the body forward. As you breathe out, float into triangle. Reach the top fingertips right up to the ceiling. You can either look ahead or look up to the ceiling, whatever's good for you. And as you hold, just be aware of your breath and the subtle movement of the body as you breathe. Come back up to standing, keep the legs straight, breathing in. As you breathe out, float back to Sun Worshipper. As you come up, bend the knees so we're back into our warrior. Breathing in. As you breathe out, we're going to windmill the hands down. Turn your body into a lunge. This front foot's going to slide all the way back and up to the ceiling, breathing in. And then as you breathe out, turn it into your hip roll. So open the knee 
and the hip up to the ceiling. You can either look down at the mat or you can look under that right armpit, whatever's good for you. So it's like you're trying to press your foot towards your left shoulder. One more breath. And then keeping the knee back, just bring the knee back. Let it float all the way through to come into pigeon. We're going to start off in proud pigeon. So come on to our fingertips. Breathing in to lengthen the spine. As you breathe out, soften the shoulders down. Breathing in to lengthen the spine. Again, this time as you breathe out, soften the hips. Going to breathe in to lengthen. As you breathe out, walk your hands forward, stretch out through the arms to come into our sleeping pigeon. So you can open that front knee, open the front foot a little bit more to the top of the mat if you want to work a little stronger. So this pose is all about letting go, really soften the shoulders, relax down. Bring the hands back. When you're ready, step back into your down dog, holding your down dog. Press your hands into the mat. Reach the sitting bones nice and high to the ceiling. Going to flow a little bit. Breathing in. As you breathe out, rock your weight forward to plank. Breathing in to come back to down dog. As you breathe out, come forward to plank. One more time, breathing into our down dog. As you breathe out, come forward to plank. So this time we're going to turn it into elephant. So breathing into our down dog. As you breathe out, bend the knees. Still come forward so your shoulders are over your hands, but the knees are just hovering above the mat. Breathing in, back to our down dog. Breathe out to our elephant. One more time, breathing into our down dog. Breathe out to our elephant. Breathing in, back to our down dog. Going to breathe in, take the right leg up to the ceiling. As you breathe out, bring the knee into your chest, step that foot forward to come into lunge, and then bring the back knee down, ready for your crescent moon. So you might just step that foot forward a fraction. Breathing in, arms come up to the ceiling. As you breathe out, release through your hips. Let the arms float out to the side so your shoulders are soft and relaxed. Hands come down to the mat, transfer your weight back to straighten the leg, toes up. Breathing in to lengthen the body. As you breathe out, hinge down. Relax the shoulders, relax your head. Let the weight come forward. Bring the back knee out to the side of the mat a little bit and then walk yourself back so you can come sitting down on the mat. So if it's not good for this front knee to have it bent backwards, just change it so it's bending forward. We're going to come into a forward fold here. So breathing in to lengthen. As you breathe out, hinge forward. So you hit the hands on the mat, hands on your legs, hold your feet, whatever's good for you. Relax your shoulders, relax your torso down. Just stay aware of that bent knee. Change the position of the knee if you need to. Walk yourself back. So we're going to come onto our knees, coming into what's called puppy dog. So just come back onto your knees, walk your hands forward, spread the hands. Bring the elbows down to the mat and then reach back to the sitting bones. So you can adjust the pose. You can walk your hands further away for a stronger stretch or bring the hands closer towards your elbows for a softer stretch. And as you breathe out, really let go of all that tension through the shoulders. Walk your hands back a fraction, float back up into your down dog, holding your down dog. Stepping forward to the top of your mat. As you breathe in, come up to a flat back. As you breathe out, set a little deeper into your forward fold. Breathing in, swan dive all the way up to standing. As you breathe out, hands to your heart center. Close your eyes, just be aware of your breath. 
relax the body. I'll just turn around to the other side of the mat and then we're ready for the other side. So breathing in, look up through our fingertips again. As you breathe out, settle into your chair. Draw the knees back, reach the arms back. Breathing in, arms swing forward. As you breathe out, arms swing back. So we're going to do that a couple more times. Breathing in to bring the arms forward and then breathe out. One more time, breathing in and then breathing out. This time as you breathe in, bring the arms forward, float all the way up. As you breathe out, come into your back arch. Breathing in to lengthen. As you breathe out, swan dive all the way down. Breathing in to come up to our flat back. As you breathe out, relax into forward fold. So this time, step the right foot back to come into our lunge, staying up high to come into high lunge. So when you're ready, breathing in to come up. As you breathe out, sit a little deeper. Left hand on the hip, breathing in. As you breathe out, float to the left side. Breathing in to lengthen. As you breathe out, bring the hands down, settle down into your low lunge. Fingertips on the mat if you can. Breathing in, look ahead, open the heart center up. And then as you breathe out, flow back. As you straighten the leg, look towards the back foot. Doing that two more times, breathing in. And breathing out. Breathing in. And breathing out. And as you come into lunge, set a little deeper, ready for our twist. So the right hand stays down. As you breathe in, left arm floats up. And then as you breathe out, thread it down and under that right armpit. Breathing in to open a little higher to the ceiling. And breathe out to thread it through. One more time, breathing in. And then breathing out. And this time as you bring the arm up, stay in your twist. So again, if you feel you're struggling, just bring the back knee down. If you can work a little stronger, open your heart center up to the ceiling. Let the hand come down, spread the hands when you're ready, step into your plank. And we're gonna try a side plank. So let the left hand come into the middle of the body, roll to the side, right arm comes up to the ceiling. And then we're gonna let that top arm to reach forward past your ears. Slow down the breath as you hold, draw the navel in. Let that arm come back up to the ceiling. Bring the hand down, ready for the other side. Right hand in the middle, roll to the side, left arm comes up to the ceiling. Bring that arm forward past your ears, just a few more breaths if you can. Bring that arm back up. Float around into our plank, settle into your plank. Breathing in as you breathe out, either come down through chaturanga or knees come down. Either roll up to cobra or up dog, whatever's good in your back. And then either roll down or just flip the toes over to come back into down dog. As you breathe in, left leg comes up to the ceiling. As you breathe out, bring the knee to your chest. We're going to step that foot forward, turn it into our warrior two. So just turn the back foot around and float up into your warrior two. Getting ready for our humble warrior. So bring the hands to the back, pistol grip. Relax the shoulders as you breathe in, open the heart center. And then as you breathe out, float forward into your humble warrior. Arms come up to the ceiling, relax your head down. Relax the arms, press all the way back up. As you come up, straighten the leg, ready for your triangle. Breathing in to reach forward. Breathe out to come all the way down. Open the heart center, reach the fingertips up to the ceiling. Float up to standing, breathing in. As you breathe out, float back into sun worshiper.
As you come up, turn it back into your warrior two. Breathing in, as you breathe out, windmill the hands down to come into lunge. We're gonna let that front foot slide through and all the way up to the ceiling. And then open the knee and the hip up to the ceiling, coming into your hip roll. So you can either look down at the mat or look under that left armpit, whatever's good for you. Just slowing down the breath. Nice, even pressure through your hands as you hold. Allow the knee to come back, facing the mat. Keep the knee bent, let it float through to come into pigeon. Going to start off in proud pigeon. So just come on our fingertips. As you breathe in, lengthen the spine. As you breathe out, soften the shoulders. Breathing in to lengthen the spine again. As you breathe out, soften the hips. Breathing in to open and expand. This time as you breathe out, just float forward to your sleeping pigeon. You can come a little deep, opening that knee a little bit more, bringing the foot a little bit more closer to the mat, whatever's good for you. Just reach the arms out. And then really let go on the outward breath. Walking the hands back. And when you're ready, step back into your down dog, holding your down dog. So we're gonna flow a little different this time. We're gonna try a standing cobbler. So, but if you find standing cobbler's too strong for you, just flow like we did before into elephant or plank. So we're gonna rock forward to our plank. And then as we come back, bend the knees out nice and wide. You're still on the tiptoes and you're reaching the sitting bones back. So breathing in to come forward to plank. As you breathe out, come back into standing cobbler. We're gonna try that two more times. Breathing in to come forward. Breathe out to reach back, staying aware of your knees. Breathing in to come forward and breathe out to come back. Just come forward to plank, two breaths in plank. So we're going to come back into standing cobbler, but this time we're going to hold our standing cobbler. So bend the knees out wide, gradually walk yourself back. So stay aware of your knees and your feet. So there's two options here. You can either stay up high like this, or you can come into a forward fold without moving the legs. Just walk your hands forward, and then coming into our forward fold. Make sure your arms, your shoulders are very soft and relaxed. And then gradually walk yourself back to down dog. Holding our down dog, draw your weight back as much as you can. As you breathe in, left leg comes up to the ceiling. As you breathe out, knee comes into your chest, step that foot forward. We're gonna bring the back knee down, ready for our crescent moon. So just come as deep as you can, let that front foot come forward a little bit more. Breathing in to open the arms up nice and high. As you breathe out, release and then relax your shoulders. Just staying here for a few more breaths. Breathing in, arms come up. As you breathe out, hands come down. Transfer your weight back to straighten the leg, toes up. Breathing in to lengthen the spine. As you breathe out, hinge your torso and your head down. And then as you come forward, just bring that back knee out a fraction. Walk yourself back so you can sit down on the mat. So again, if it's not feeling good for that knee to have it bent back, just turn it around so it's bent forward. So really stay aware of the knee. Coming into our forward fold, breathing in to lengthen. Breathe out, hinge forward, either hands down on the mat, hands on your legs or hold your feet. Breathing in to lengthen, breathe out, soften, release down. Just staying aware of the bent knee. Just holding, just a few more breaths if you can. And 
and then walk yourself back. So we're just going to turn ourselves around so we're on the wide part of our mat and bring the legs out nice and wide. Have the right hand on the right leg. As you breathe in, left arm comes up. As you breathe out, float to the side. So the arm can stay on your leg or you can reach for the toes. Relax that top arm, reach out through the fingertips. Nice, slow, deep breathing pattern. Breathing in to lengthen. As you breathe out, float over to the other side. Hold. Breathing in to lengthen the body. We're going to turn it into a twist. So as you breathe out, twist to the right side. Left hand comes down on the leg. Right hand comes to the back. Keep that hand really close to your spine to lengthen up through the body. Breathing in to lengthen again. As you breathe out, increase the twist. Slowing down the breath. Come to face the front, we're going to breathe in to lengthen. As you breathe out, twist to the other side. If you can, breathe in again. And then as you breathe out, increase the twist if you can. Again, try and keep that back hand really close to the spine so you're not leaning back. Right in the middle of the sitting bones if you can. and then coming all the way around. So just bring the knees together and then just come lying down on the mat. And we're just going to roll up into bridge. So as you're breathing in, roll the spine up off the mat. As you breathe out, lift the hips a little higher to the ceiling. Walk your hands under your back. If you can, interlock the fingers. Press the arms down. For those who can work a little stronger, a little weight on the left foot, Bring the right knee into your chest and then press that heel up to the ceiling. Try not to drop your hips, so keep your hips nice and lifted. Just a few more breaths. Bring that foot down, switch for the other side. So if you find it too strong with your legs up, just stay in normal bridge. Make sure you haven't dropped your hips down. Try and keep the hips nice and lifted and even as much as you can. Bring that foot down. Separate the hands, bring the hands down to the mat. As you breathe in, really roll up as high as you can. And then as you breathe out, roll down. Going to bring the knees in, hands on your knees, and just draw circles with the knees. Circle the knees the other way. Bring the legs out, have the arms by your side, just coming into some relaxation. So we're just going to focus on our breath and use our breath to relax our body. So as you breathe in, let the breath float around your feet, massaging your feet. And then as you breathe out, soften the feet. This time, let the breath float up through the leg to massage the calves and the knees, right up to the top of your legs. And then as you breathe out, your legs are growing very heavy. Gonna slowly breathe into our hips. And then as you breathe out, consciously soften the hips. Bring the next breath to your tailbone and as you keep breathing in, let it float up your spine, all the way up through your neck. And then as you breathe out, relax the spine, one vertebrae at a time, all the way down to your tailbone. Slowly breathe into the lower back. And then as you breathe out, soften the lower back. I'm going to breathe into the middle back, massaging deep with your breath. 
and then breathe out, relax. Slowly breathe into the shoulder blades, really slowly. And then as you breathe out, just letting go of all tension, your back is growing heavy. Slowly breathe into your hands. And as you breathe out, soften the hands. Gonna slowly breathe into your arms. Let that breath float all the way up, right inside the shoulders. And then as you breathe out, your arms are growing heavy. Slowly breathe into your collarbone, the tops of your shoulders. And then as you breathe out, soften the shoulders down. Gonna let the next breath massage your jaw. And then as you breathe out, consciously soften the jaw. Slowly breathe into your neck, massaging the spine, the muscle area. And then as you breathe out, relax your neck. Visualize the next breath floating all the way around your skull. Let it flow to your forehead and massage your forehead. And as you slowly breathe out, relax your forehead. Just let go of all those things that you're worried about. All those worrying thoughts, just let them float away. Soften your eyes. Soften your nose and your mouth. Feel all your tension, all your worries floating away. Kind of slowly, just bring a little movement to the body. So slowly move your feet and your hands. Slowly bend one knee. Slowly bend the other knee. Bring the knees into your chest. Bring your head to your knees to curl into a tight ball. And then slowly roll all the way up to sitting. So as you come up to sitting, just sit in any way that's comfortable for you. I'll just grab my guitar and we can do some kirtan. So if you find it's a bit difficult on your knees to sit cross-legged, just bring the legs out to the front. Close your eyes and just be aware of the breath. And then when you're ready, just join in with the kirtan with me. We're going to sing Goranga and Haribo. Goranga, 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 Haribo, Goranga, 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 Haribo, Goranga, Goranga, Goranga. Go, go, go. 
body really soft and relaxed. So as you breathe in, just let the arms float out nice and wide, reaching them out to the sides. And then breathe in a little bit more, let the arms come nice and high to the ceiling, lengthen through the body. And then as you breathe out, bring your hands together, keep breathing out, let the hands slowly float all the way down to your heart centre. And namaste, everyone. Thank you very much for coming to the class. Hope you enjoyed the class and keep safe and well. Thank you very much.